Hello guys, welcome back. Today we'll be reviewing the 2010 Lenticular Shape Mater with Hood as highly requested on a poll from about a couple weeks ago. First we'll take a look at the box. Of course it has the Chase logo right here. And the look my eye cha look my eyes change because of course it was a lenticular. Now I have opened this, so it obviously is open. And it does come with the big blister because it's an older car. So open it. You can see that he has a small name tag saying Mater with Hood, and he is 134. There's some legal information, of course, the car's logo, and you can see Mater through the back. Have some artwork that's the same as on the front, just the basic Mater artwork edited onto the blue background, blue city background with the hood on. And that's about it for the box. Now we'll get into reviewing Mater. He has a lifted tow cable, reminiscent of this 2020, um, 2023 on the road diecast. He is old, half plastic, just like the older meters from 2006 through, I'm pretty sure, 2018. She is back there. Of course, he has the A1 and 3. On most older meters, for some reason, the rim area or li rim lining, I'm pretty sure that would be, has this little blue dot. It's not present on a lot of meters like these two, although they're newer. They don't have it, and it's really only there on my older meters that I have. But it's just a little blue glow, I'm guessing, because he's rusted blue. He does have an expression that is different from any other ones. And let me grab my original 2006 meter. So yeah, this meter has that same blue. The expression is different. Obviously this one's lenticular. So he can look up into the corner look down at his hood just like the scene from the movie his hood is a rusty blue a little bit dirty his chassis is raised just like this one they probably used the blueprint of this to make this and I brought out another older mater that also had a raised chassis like that both of their toe hooks are kind of swung out which is pretty cool bottom, has the wheels that roll, you can see the numbers down there, made in China, Mattel Inc, and yeah, this is a very good mater in general, and for a reasonable price too, most listings he's 15 to 20 dollars, and I suggest getting this guy for your collection if you're a mater fan. gas cap right there, his wheels. Now, comparing to the 2006 Mater, since this is an earlier Mater, they didn't really set on that his wheels would be a different color. So his back wheels are just brown on this older Mater compared to newer ones. Move these guys out of here. And yeah, this is a really cool Mater. Only Mattel would make him soon to get rid of that odd lenticular eyes. And now, comparing him to my, surprisingly, my only other lenticular mater that I have. Of course, they both have their moving eyes. Review on Major with Ghost Light will be soon. Compare these two. I bought these to the same store, Frankenstein's. Put it, I think I'll put it up there. Come on, editor me. Don't be lazy. Frankenstein's collectible show, I'm pretty sure. Very good place. Highly recommend it if you want to get some rare stuff or even just stuff in general. This mater does also have that blue kind of glow. But yeah. Just one thing. 
or I had made her with hood. The brand new deluxe for 2025. Bra uh, not brand new Mater. Mater with hood, four eyes edition. Yeah. He's a cool little guy. I prefer if he had this expression permanently, but hey, can't really change that. But yeah, this is a very cool Mater. I recommend purchasing him. And that's about it. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's a new format compared to my older ones. I'm not showing my face, but because it's just easier to do this. It's on solid ground. It's easier to record so I don't have to be um, just like standing and pointing the camera at me. But yeah. Um, that's about it. So on my community post, you're going to want to stay tuned for the next few days. Big video is coming soon. And also a big announcement. Um, that's about it. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Hope you enjoyed. Bye now.